Lego is expensive, but how expensive? To find an answer to this question, I put together a spreadsheet. The way I have this spreadsheet broken out is right here. On this side, we can select any theme that we want to take a look at. And then when we select that theme, these will update and it will tell us the information about it. Now books, um, theme does not have any pieces, so it's not gonna give us a theme average PPP, which means price per piece. And then over here in art, we'll take a look at that. So the total pieces from the theme, so the overall theme, 20,000 pieces. And then to buy the whole theme, it's I thought that was kind of interesting to just see what the value of that Lego theme was put out for the whole year. So art to get every set would be about $600. But then say if we were to get every brickhead, that would be $300. But there are a lot more brickhead sets. And so this is pretty nice because we have our list of every Lego set that came out in 2021. And then it tells us the price per piece of each individual set. So you can kind of see they're averaging out around the same. But I did include something pretty fancy over here at the bottom. If we just scroll down just a little bit, we get the theme price per piece comparison. So we got every theme out here and we get to see the price per piece. So you can see architecture, art, and everything sticking around that 10 cent range. But we got some stuff like outliers, like Jurassic World's almost 20 cents a piece. Now my guess for why Jurassic World is so much more expensive per the piece that you're getting is because it comes with big things kind of like this that are dinosaurs. This is an elephant, but big pieces. That is, takes a lot more plastic to put together compared to the Lego art theme, which is just a whole bunch of studs uh, put together to make a little artwork. So there's a bit of a difference in the size of pieces that are being included, but the average price per piece is big difference. Now, as we look at this chart, we can see one of the lines is huge. Look at that, Duplo. Now, if you know what a Duplo Lego is, that is the Lego sets that are made for little babies. Now, each Lego piece is about like this big. So the price per piece would make sense. It probably costs a Lego a lot more to make a big chunk of Lego versus these little itsy bitsy bricks. And taking a look at this, one of the other things I think is really interesting is how Harry Potter is less than 10 cents, which is crazy because there's Harry Potter licensing themes. And like, if we take a look at Disney, Disney is above 10 cents. And some of these other ones that have to go licensing like Mario, that's expensive. But then, which is weird, when City is more than 10 cents, which that is Lego's own theme and they don't have to pay any licensing fees and it's cost more than Harry Potter. Last thing when looking at this little chart is you see a few of the things don't have a price per piece, like the promotional and the gear and the books. So books make sense. You don't have any pieces in books. Then if we over here, the promotional, promotional Lego sets are given away for free by Lego when you buy other stuff. So it can't really quantify the price per piece on that because technically the Lego set is free. One of the themes that I thought was really interesting that I didn't really think about too much beforehand was CMF, so collectible minifigure series. And those are just little poly bags that are about $5 and you get one minifigure in them and they're always custom, unique, awesome minifigures. But look at the price per piece is kind of insane. 50 cents a piece, which makes sense because sometimes the minifigures for $5, you're only getting like 10 pieces. And so that's why that price per piece is a little crazy, but you can see some of the sets even come out to be a dollar per piece. So that means there's five pieces in there and you spent $5 to get that Lego set. I've made this spreadsheet available for any of the members here on the channel. To become a member, all you do is scroll down a little bit, see that join button, click it, and then it's $1 a month and boom, you have access to this sheet and a few other stuff and there's a bunch of other perks as listed out. And there we go, now we know it's 10 cents on average for every little Lego piece. Yeah, that's a lot of money for this little piece. Now, real quick, I just wanted to show you how this kind of works. First off, we have this list of data that we are pulling from. And so then all this data kind of comes over here and summarizes up on this chart. And we have each of the theme with this. So it's kind of reflecting. It's just a list of what's gonna be reflected right here on our main page. And then we have some formulas that are right here looking at this cell all the time and just seeing what it's saying. And because it changes along with the buttons that we press, it will update and then these formulas, every time it sees that update, it's referring to this sheet that it will take and look up. What do we need, DC? Okay, we need to give us the pieces and the price. And then it just will display it here on our front page. 
And then we have a little calculation that gives us the average price per piece of the theme. And right here is our little chart that as we select the buttons, it's kind of reorganizing all this so that it has the information to pull from. And then that information is displaying over here on the main page. I know there's lots more detail that we could go into and make a huge, huge spreadsheet going into every single little aspect of a Lego set and Lego theme. But this suffices just as a general look at what the value of Lego is.